welcome you all today we are here with another topic and this time we are going to talk about classification of speech sounds this topic is from the subject phonetics and english phonology english code 203 we already have conducted six lectures so this is our lecture number seven so without a further go let's uh, talk about our today's topic here uh, what we are going to learn today in our today's lecture and speech sounds are classified into consonant sounds and within the consonant sounds we study voiced and voiceless sounds because uh, consonant sounds are actually divided into voiced and voiceless sounds here is another uh, i must say topic and that is places of articulation and number three that is manners of articulation on the other hand uh, sounds are classified into vowel sounds and vowel sounds when we study we study vowel sounds how they are been produced monotongs and then diphthongs so these are actually the soft topics we are going to discuss in our today's topic phonetics we already have talked about this was our lecture uh, the very first lecture but today just we are going through um, its definition so that we must understand that how sounds are uh, been classified phonetics is the study of speech sounds in their production so when we say phonetics it is actually concerned with speech sounds and there are three branches of phonetics when we talk about we already have done those branches and number one that is articulatory phonetics number two acoustic phonetics and number three that is auditory phonetics we already have done mm, this definition and uh, these branches of uh, phonetics in our previous lecture you may follow our uh, lecture series program and you will find this lecture so let's um, uh, talk about our today's concerned uh, topic and that is classification of speech sounds as we already have uh, done there are two types of sounds consonants and vowel sounds and right now we are going to talk about consonant sounds what are consonant sounds this is very essential definition a speech sound made by completely or partially stopping the flow of air being breathed out through the mouth so here these are actually the positions how we are going to pronounce these consonant sounds and this is actually uh, a ipa chart where all the consonant sounds are given in this chart and uh, when we look at the definition and according to definition that when we breath out um, either we completely or partially uh, block our mouth and then pronounce uh, these sounds and those sounds are known as consonant sounds yani is tarah ke sounds jo ki hum apne muh ko ya adhura ya jo hai wo completely band karke jo hai wo uh, pronounce kare utter kare तो इस तरह के साउंड्स को हम कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड्स कहते हैं अगर आप देखें यहाँ पे जो चार दिया हुआ है एज अ छ साउंड एज अ छ साउंड एंड थ साउंड एंड स एंड ज साउंड सो यू लुक एट द पोजीशंस ऑफ माउथ दीज पोजीशंस शो दैट द माउथ इज आइदर कंप्लीटली आर पार्शली ब्लॉक्ड सो सच साउंड्स आर नॉन एज कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड हेयर दोज कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर एक्चुअली divided into voiced sounds or voiceless sounds and then places of articulation and manners of articulation and that is actually voiced and voiceless sounds because consonant sounds are divided into these two categories what are voiced sounds uh voiced consonant sounds so voiced sounds in which the vocal folds can uh, vibrate during articulation so when we utter the sounds our vocal folds these are the positions of vocal folds within vocal cords and where lies the vocal cords uh, it is at the larynx so you may watch the picture agar aap picture mein dekhiye larynx ki jagah pe vocal cords hote hain vocal cords jo hai wo ye vocal cords ki complete picture hai jahan pe ye teer ke nishan hain aur ye jo do line hain inko asal mein hum vocal folds kehte hain so the sounds like z sound r v sound so when we uh, are uttering these sounds as uh, z r v our vocal folds vibrate while producing these sounds so these sounds are known as are such uh, sounds where vocal folds vibrate are known as voiced sounds 
on the other hand when we say voiceless sounds voiceless sounds sounds in which the vocal folds could not produce vibration during the articulation yani articulation ke dauran jab hum ye sounds produce kar rahe hain to vocal folds jo hai wo vibrate nahi karte uh, here are the examples as a sa r fa sound here uh, we are going to talk about another type of sounds those are known as vowel sounds and vowel sounds are produced with a relatively free flow of air yani hum jab vowel sounds produce kar rahe hote hain to hamara hamare mouth ki position open hoti hai hamara mouth open hota hai if you look at uh, this picture ke mouth ke andar agar aap yahan pe gaur se dekhein to ye this is actually uh, these are actually the positions where uh, these vowel sounds utter they are all typically voiced so when we were talking about consonant sounds those were divided into voiced and voiceless sounds but all the vowel sounds are actually typically voiced sounds where vocal folds vibrate and to talk about a place of articulation or uh, uh, when we say um we think of uh, the space inside mouth as having a front versus a back and high versus a low area so you see when we pronounce these vowel sounds we divide the positions of mouth like agar ab yahan pe dekhe to ye high front this is mid front and this is lower front aur ye sounds yahan se produce ho rahe hain aur ye uh, this is the back position of the mouth aur hum kahenge ki ye again a high uh, place and this is a lower place so uh, this division uh, we uh, um, have done while producing the vowel sounds here students when we say the in the pronunciation of a heat and hit we talk about a high front vowels because the sound is made with the front part of uh, the tongue in a raised position to agar aap dekhe heat mean to say e or um hit when we pronounce this word hit so a sound vowel a sound so ye agar aap aap yahan pe dekhe high e and high front it mean to say and this is uh, between high and mid a sound so these are actually the positions of uh, these two sounds when we pronounce uh, heat or uh, and hit we talk about a high front vowels because the sound is made with the front part of the tongue in a raised position so this is how we are going to produce these vowel sounds uh, here uh, vowel sounds are actually divided into monotongs and what are monotong vowels a monotong is a single vowel sound so if we look at the chart of ipa chart so these uh, sounds are monotong vowels because uh, agar hum baat kare yahan pe to yani do consonant sounds ke darmiyan mein ek uh, vowel sound ek vowel sound ka hona isko hum monotong vowel kehte hain simply vowel bhi kehte hain magar agar hum uh, types of vowels kahe to wo monotong hoga like run if you look at this and here is another example fur so between these two consonant sounds f and la there is a sound um uh, so this how we are going to say monotong vowels and here is another example man so these such sounds are known as monotong vowels in uh, ipa chart other uh, kind of uh, vowel sounds are uh, we must say diphthong sounds and what are diphthong sounds sounds that consist of a combination of two vowel sounds known as diphthong when we produce diphthongs our vocal organs move from one vocalic position uh, as um, if we look at this a uh, to another a as we produce the sound a uh, e as in high or in by a uh, e the movement in this uh, diphthong is from low towards high front from low towards high front as a uh, and e so a uh, e high in high or in by so the movement in this diphthong is from low towards high front so this is how we are going to produce the sounds which are known as diphthongs means the use of uh, two vowel sounds together agar aap chart mein dekhe yahan pe as a here 
सो so, यहाँ पे ये एग्जाम्पल्स हैं ये जो है वो डिफथोंग्स होते हैं डिफथोंग्स आई पी एस सिम्बल्स हैं वैन वी टॉक अबाउट दी डिफथोंग साउंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द लेक्चर होप यू इन्जॉय दिस थैंक यू वेरी मच